Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the pretty flower dishcloth and then I'm going to show you how to take this dishcloth and turn it into a larger table topper. So when you're looking at the larger table topper, if you look really close, you'll notice the center is our dishcloth. So this is our dishcloth that is the center and then I just continue to crochet out and make it larger to just add an accent into my kitchen to match my dishcloths. It's just a fun way to brighten up your kitchen. Now you don't have to use this in the kitchen. You can use it on a maybe a living room table if you have one. You can use different colors and match your home decor. And if you have some of those larger round pillows that have fabric covers and they just need freshened up, you can make two of these toppers and before you crochet your last round, just insert that pillow form in between the toppers and then just crochet the two together with that last round and it would make a beautiful refreshed pillow for your home. Now before I show you what you're going to need to make your project I'm just going to show you the measurements. Our table topper measures approximately 17 inches in diameter so a nice size and then our dishcloth measures approximately eight and one fourth inches in diameter. So just a very nice size dishcloth and table topper. So let me show you what you're going to need for today's project. So for the project today, I am using the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. This is a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, 186 yards, 170 meters. It is a four medium weight cotton yarn. It's 100% mercerized cotton and it is machine washable and dryable. You're going to need one skein of color number 113 red. And this is if you want to make the same exact project that I'm making. Now you can choose different colors if you wish. You're also going to need one skein of color number 100 white. Now I use some of this, that's why that looks smaller. So one skein of 100 white. You're also going to need one skein of color number 157 lemon. Now you don't need very much lemon. You don't need a full skein. So if you have some of this at home, then you only need enough to do the center of the flower for the dishcloth and the table topper. But if you're making multiple dishcloths, then it's best to just get a full skein so you have enough for those multiple uh, dishcloths or table toppers that you wanna make. The last color you're going to need is color number 172 grass, beautiful color of green that we use. Now the one thing I do want to say about the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton is that I picked this yarn specifically for the project because of the way the yarn is made. This yarn is tightly woven almost in like a cord type fashion. It has a shine to it and because of the tightness of how this yarn is made it just makes for a beautiful project and it gives it a very distinct look. Now, I don't believe you're going to get this look if you use a different brand of the looser woven cottons that you use for dishcloths. I just think this has a particular look to it that really makes the stitches stand out. But it, it's your preference. You can use whichever yarn you wish. Now, I'll have a link in the description box underneath this video that you can click and view all the 24-7 colors available at Lion Brand. So those are the four colors that I'm using today and then you're going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a large blunt end needle, yarn needle, to weave in your ends. So that's all you're going to need for today's project. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. We're going to begin and chain four, yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that creates your first chain. That's one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip the first three chain 
insert into that fourth chain and slip stitch together to form a ring. So now we're going to be working all of our stitches right in the center of that ring. I'm going to take this little piece of yarn that's left over from starting my chain and I'm going to hold it right up against the side of my work and work over that end. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. And this beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work 11 more double crochet into the inside of this ring. Yarn over, you're going to insert right into the center of the ring. Yarn over, pull back through the ring. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. You just made your first double crochet of 11. So now I'm going to go ahead and work my stitches, but just count as I go. So that was one. Yarn over, insert back into the inside of our circle, work a double crochet. That's two. Three. Four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and eleven. So you'll have your beginning chain three and then you'll have eleven double crochet around. That beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet so you have a total of twelve double crochet stitches. And now we're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're just going to fasten off our yellow, and I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So then I just turn this over, and where I crocheted over that end, I just clip that off because it's already woven in underneath all those stitches. So now we're going to start the flower portion of our dishcloth. So pick which color you want for your petals. Now I'm using red, so I'm going to grab my red, and then we'll start round two. To begin round two, I already have my red yarn and I'm going to leave about a four or five inch length and I'm just going to take my yarn and hold it right up against the yellow strand that I fastened off. We're going to insert our hook into any stitch. I'm going right into the joining stitch. You're going to pull that red color through the stitch and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. So our beginning chain three counts as our first triple leaving the last loop on the hook and now we're going to make two more triple into the same stitch leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch and make sure when you insert your hook that you're going underneath these two strands of yarn. We're going to weave them in as we crochet. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. You just made your first triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. We're going to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull back through that same stitch. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
and then you have your second triple leaving the last loop on the hook. So you have a total of three. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now when working this pattern, anytime we do the triple clusters, the first one is going to be different than the rest because we're starting that round with that beginning chain three. So this is the only time you're going to make this triple in this manner using that chain three. Now since we have our three triple cluster made, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to work a three triple cluster into the next stitch and then we're going to chain three. Three triple cluster into the next stitch and then chain three. So just take your time, do it one step at a time. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that next stitch. Make sure your hook goes under those two strands because we want to weave them in as we crochet around yarn over, pull back through that stitch, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You have your first triple of the three triple cluster. So let's do it again, yarn over twice, insert back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull back through that stitch, you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. When you look at your work, you have your second triple made, leaving the last loop on your hook, and you have three loops on your hook. We need to make one more triple, yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull back through. You have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. When you look at your work, you'll notice you have your three triple. You left the last loop of each one of those three triples on your hook. You have a total of four loops, and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your three triple cluster is made. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three. So let's work it a few more times, and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into the next stitch, go underneath those two strands, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. First triple was made, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, you're going to have three triple with the last loop of each one of those stitches on the hook and you have a total of four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Yarn over twice, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull back through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You made your first triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. We have one more to go. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You made your third triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. Your triple cluster is made. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. 
and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead, if you need help, click back on the video. You're going to work a three triple cluster into the next stitch. You're going to leave the last loop of each one of those stitches on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook, making your three triple cluster, and then you're going to chain three. Work a three triple cluster into the next stitch, chain three three triple cluster into the next stitch, and then chain three. Repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work looks like. You should have a total of 12 three triple clusters around your work, one in each stitch, and then a chain three in between each one of those petals. When you end the round, you're going to end with your chain three, and then we're going to come up and slip stitch into the top of this petal. So I'm coming up and I'm going to insert into this wide part, this wide stitch here right at the top of my petal and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, pull through the loop on my hook. Again, I'm going to fasten off my work. And you can use whichever method you prefer. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So then I'm just going to turn my work over, and because I worked under these ends, now the one end is already worked over. Here's a little sniveling. I'm just going to clip that off. Be very careful so you don't go into one of the stitches. And I'm just going to clip that off. So round two is finished, and now I'm going to grab my next color, which is the grass green, and we're going to start our leaves. So now we're ready to begin round three. Now round three, we're going to be working into the chain three space, so you can join in any chain three space. So I have my green, and I'm going to leave about four to five inches hang. And I'm just going to insert my hook into that first chain three space. Now for this round, we're going to be making a five triple cluster. So it's made in the same manner, only we're using five triple stitches. So insert your hook into the first chain three space and just pull your green yarn through. And when I work my first cluster, I'm going to be working right over this strand of yarn that is left from starting and joining my yarn. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three, and the beginning chain three will act as our first triple of the five, leaving the last loop on the hook. Now we're going to work four more triple into the same space, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your second triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your third triple, leaving the last loop on the hook. We have two to go. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you can see we have four stitches of the five. We need to do it one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain three space, yarn over, pull through. You have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three, and then you're going to have four triple, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook, and you're going to have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. You just made your five triple cluster. So now we're just going to let this end hang on the back of our work and we'll come back when we're finished and weave in all these ends. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to skip the next chain three space 
and then we're going to start our repeat where we're starting with our five triple cluster into the next stitch. So this is where we're going to start our repeat. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that next chain three space. You skipped the one chain three space and we're starting the repeat into the next. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your first triple leaving the last loop on the hook. We need to do that four more times. Yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You made your second of the five triple needed. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you'll see you made three triple leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook and you have four loops on your hook. We need to make two more triple, yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We made our four of five triple. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you have your five triple stitches and you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook. Your five triple cluster is made. And if you noticed, you have that one extra loop on your hook and that's because this is made differently than the first because the first one had the chain three. So now you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to skip this next chain three space and then you're going to start the repeat into the next chain three space. So let's start the repeat. You're going to work five triple cluster into this chain three space. Yarn over twice, insert into the chain three space, work your five triple leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook. There's the first one, yarn over twice, insert back into that space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's your second triple, yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your third triple, two to go, Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you have four triple made. We need to do one more. Yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. When you look at your work, you're going to have your five triple stitches and you're going to have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook. You're going to chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to skip the next chain three space and then you begin your repeat again. So if you need help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to start your repeat into that next chain three space. You skip this one. So you're going to work a five triple cluster into this next chain three space. Chain eight, skip the next chain three, work your five triple cluster, chain eight, skip the next chain three space and work that around to the end of round three and I'll meet you there. 
I'm over at the end of round three, and yes, do not worry, this is the correct way to do it. It's going to look like a little bowl. Your sides are going to be sticking up in the air. It's not going to lay flat until we do the next round. So please do not let that worry you. That's the way it's supposed to look. So after you made your last cluster and you chained eight, you're going to skip that last chain three space, and we're just going to go up and slip stitch into the top of our beginning cluster. So just follow your cluster up to the top and we're just going to insert right into this little bit wider stitch here at the top of that cluster and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to fasten off my work and again it's nice to leave a little bit longer length so you can really maneuver that yarn needle and weave these ends in nice and secure. So round three is finished, and yes, it looks a little strange, but this is what it's supposed to look like. And now we're going to grab our white, and we're going to start putting our fan stitches, and we're going to be working two rounds below, one, two, into round two. And when we work our fan stitches down in this chain three space, it's going to flatten this and tighten it on the back of your work. You're going to leave this chain eight space unworked, work in front of it, and work your stitches down into this space. So go ahead and grab your white, and then we'll begin round four. So I have my white, and again, I leave about four to five inches, and I'm just going to come over to our first uh, cluster stitch where I fastened off. Now, instead of going into where we fastened off, I'm going right over here to the left side top of that cluster stitch. You'll see this little triangle. I'm going to insert my hook into that triangle, and I'm just going to pull my new color through. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the same space. So insert back into that same space, work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that same space, work a single crochet. So on top of each cluster, we're going to be working a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Now we're going to work seven triple, two rounds below in round two into this chain three space. So you're going to yarn over the hook twice. You're going to bring your hook in front of this chain eight space and come down and insert into that chain three space and then bring your hook up and keep this behind your work or bend it down so it's out of your way and then finish your triple. Yarn over, pull through that chain three space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You made your first triple or treble however you pronounce it. So now what I suggest is just keep this bent down out of your way because you do not want to work into that. Just bend it all the way down out of your way. And now you're going to work six more triple into that chain three space. Yarn over twice, insert back into that chain three space, work your second triple crochet. That's two. I'm just going to go ahead and count my stitches now. That's three. Four. Five. Six. and seven. So when you look at your work, your seven triple are made 
two rounds below into round two. And when you look at the back side of your work, you'll notice this chain eight space stays unworked. You do not want to get any of your stitches caught in that chain eight. You just want that to be free flowing behind your work. So now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat. Again, you're going to come over and you're going to go into the left side at the top of that next cluster stitch. You'll see this wide stitch here. You want to go right into that small space on the left. Insert your hook, work your single crochet, a chain two, insert back into that same space, work a single crochet. Now we're going to work our seven triple, two rounds below into round two into the chain three space. So again, just bend that chain eight, just bend the whole top round below round two out of your way, and then start your seven triple. Yarn over twice, insert into that chain three space of round two, work seven triple crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of the repeat. And again, when you look at your work, you're going to have your single crochet, chain two single crochet into the top of the cluster. And then you're going to have your seven triple into the chain three space of round two. And that chain eight space is free flowing in the back and left unworked. So that is the end of the repeat. I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to come up and you're just going to take your work and follow it up to the top of that next cluster. And again, you're going to see that little spot on the left side. Insert into that little triangle on the left side. Work your single crochet. Chain two. Insert back into that same space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to take round three and bend it all the way down, and you're going to work seven triple into this chain three space of round two. Yarn over twice, insert into that chain three space, and work seven triple crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, when you look on the wrong side of your work, you'll see how the chain eights tighten up and they just lay right across the back of your work and they stay unworked. And then this is flattening out your dishcloth. So go ahead and continue working around. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two single crochet, up into that top left corner of the next cluster stitch and then you're going to bend round three underneath and work seven triple into that chain three space of round two. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round four. 
I'm over at the end of round four. This is what your work should look like. So you'll notice your work is laying flat now. So now we're just going to come up and join into that beginning single crochet. So you're just going to come up and insert your hook under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round four is finished, and now we're going to begin round five. For round five, we're going to skip this first stitch, and we're going to insert into the next chain two space and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that space, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're ready to begin round five. We're going to start with the chain one, we're going to single crochet back into the chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So now we're going to come over to our fan set of stitches and we're going to skip the first triple of that first fan and insert into the second triple crochet, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Skip the next triple, insert into the next triple, work a single crochet, chain two, Insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Skip the next triple, insert into the next triple and work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that same triple and work a single crochet. That is the end of the first repeat and now we're going to go ahead and do it again. Insert into the chain two space of the next single crochet V stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Your single crochet V stitch is made. So now we're going to jump over to our seven triple fan stitch. We're going to skip the first triple insert into the second triple of that seven triple crochet group, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to skip the next triple stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Skip the next triple stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to insert into the chain two space of the next single crochet V stitch at the top of the next cluster. Insert into that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to jump over to the seven triple stitches in that fan stitch. You're going to skip the first triple, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same stitch. Skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. 
and that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two space of that next single crochet V-stitch. You're going to come over to the seven triple stitches. You're going to skip the first stitch, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to start all over again, repeating that pattern. So again, if you need help, click back on the video and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. This is what your work should look like. And when you get to the end, you're going to end with your single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that next to the last triple, which is the sixth triple of that seven triple crochet group. And then we're back to the starting point. So we're just going to skip that last triple. You're going to skip that next single crochet and you're going to come up and slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops of that beginning single crochet and slip stitch. I'm just going to fasten off my white and again it's better to leave a little bit longer length and then you can really weave in those ends and because this is a dishcloth you want to make sure that you have enough to weave in and back two or three times to really secure that ending thread so now you're going to grab your next color, which is the color you're using for your flower. So I'm using red, so I'm going to grab my red and then we'll begin round six. So now we're ready to start round six. So I have my red yarn and I'm going to leave about a four or five inch length. I'm going to bring my red yarn up to the top of my work and I'm going to work my first four stitches over the ends of the yarn insert into that first chain two space here you fastened off here's that first v-stitch insert into the chain two space pull your new color through you're going to chain one and then we're going to work four half double crochet and i'm working right over these two pieces of yarn you're going to yarn over insert into the chain two space yarn over and pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook you just made your first half double crochet half double crochet back into that same chain two space half double crochet back into that same chain two space that's three and one more half double crochet into that same chain two space so when you look at your work, you have a total of four half double crochet into that first stitch. Now, because there's a little bit of space here, I don't want to see my ends, which you will see if you continue crocheting. So I'm just going to let them hang in the back and then I'll weave them in when I'm all finished. So now the repeat pattern is we're just going to work four half double crochet in each chain two space around. So yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work four half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, insert into the next chain two space of that next B stitch work four half double crochet one two three and four and I'll show you one more time yarn over find your next chain two space of that next V stitch insert into the chain two space and work four half double crochet one two, three, and four. And that's all there is to round six. So go ahead and continue and work four half double crochet in each chain two space 
around and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your work should look like and you should have a total of four half double crochet in each chain two space around. So now we're going to go ahead and join. We're going to come up to the top of that beginning half double crochet and you wanna insert under the top two loops. Insert under the top two loops and you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off my red. And now round six is finished and we're ready to start round seven. So for round seven, I'm going to pull the color of my leaves and I'm gonna use that color next. So go ahead and grab your green or whichever color you wanna use for the next round and let's get round seven started. So I have my green and again, I'm gonna leave about four or five inches hanging down and I'm going to insert right into the top of that joining stitch. So I'm just going to insert back into my first joining stitch and I'm going to pull my new color through. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. You're going to insert back into that same joining stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and insert back into that same first stitch and work a single crochet. So this round we're working our single crochet V stitches of a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. You're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help, this is where you're going to start the repeat. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all into that same stitch. You're going to skip the next two stitches and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You've already skipped those two stitches. You're going to insert into the next stitch, work your single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to skip the next two stitches and that is the end of the repeat. So start the repeat again. You're going to insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that stitch and work a single crochet and then skip the next two stitches. So go ahead and repeat that around. You already skipped two stitches, so you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this next stitch and then skip two stitches. Start again, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch and skip the next two stitches. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your work should look like. You started with the single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You skipped two stitches and then worked your single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two stitches, and you work that around. So when you get to the end of round seven, you're going to have two stitches remaining. So we're going to skip those last two stitches and you're going to come up and slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. Insert under both of those top two loops of that first single crochet and slip stitch. Round seven is finished. So now I'm just going to fasten off my green and the next color we're going to use is going to be white or whichever color you choose. So go ahead and grab your next color and we'll start round eight. So now we're ready to begin round eight. So for round eight, I'm just going to insert my hook into the first chain two space of the first little single crochet V stitch. And what we're doing for round eight is we're going to work a single crochet chain three and a single crochet into the chain two space of each one of these uh, little V stitches around our work. So again, insert your hook into the first chain two space and I have my white yarn and I'm gonna leave about a four or five inch length just hanging. 
So pull your new color through and chain one. You're going to single crochet back into that same beginning chain two space. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and then you're going to insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. So now all you're going to do is repeat that in each chain two space around. Insert into the next chain two space of that next single crochet v-stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and then insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. Let's do it again. Find your next chain two space, insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. Find your next chain two space, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that chain two space and work a single crochet. And that's all there is to doing round eight. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet, a chain three and one single crochet in each chain two space around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight and now all we have to do is join with a slip stitch. If you look at your work, you should have a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in each chain two space around. This is what your work looks like. And now we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. So insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now if you're making the dishcloth, then your dishcloth is finished and you can go ahead and fasten off your work and weave in your ends matching the colors in the backs of the stitches on the wrong side. Now I'm just going to keep on working and now we're going to make the table topper. So again, if you just want to make the dishcloth, then your dishcloth is finished. Go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. So now since the dishcloth is finished, if you want to go ahead and continue with me and make that table topper, then we're going to continue and work round nine and we're still using the white. So do not fasten off if you want to make the table topper. So let's go ahead and starting with round nine we're continuing and we're going to make this larger into the table topper. So to begin round nine we're going to skip our beginning single crochet and we're going to slip stitch into this next chain three space. So yarn over, pull through the chain three space and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain one and now we're going to work three half double crochet into this chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the chain three space, work three half double crochet. One, two, and three. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're going to start our repeat. Very simple repeat. We're going to work three half double crochet into the next chain three space and then chain three. Three half double crochet into the next chain three space and then chain three and we're going to work that around. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain three space and work three half double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to start again. Three half double crochet into the next chain three space, yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, work three half double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then start again. Yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, 
work three half double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three, and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work three half double crochet into this next chain three space and then chain three. Three half double crochet into the next chain three space, then chain three. Continue and work that pattern around and I'll meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine. This is what your work should look like. You should have three half double crochet into the chain three space and then you chain three. Three half double crochet into the chain three space and then chain three. You work that around and you ended with a chain three. So now we're going to go ahead and join into the top of that first half double crochet. So when you look at your work, you're going to see you have three half double crochets. Insert into the top of that first half double crochet and go under both of those top two loops. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round nine is finished. And now we're going to go ahead and start round 10. So we're going to begin and we're going to skip this joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Your hook should be directly above the center half double crochet or the second stitch of that three stitch group. We're going to begin and chain one you're going to insert back into that same center stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same center stitch and work a single crochet. You just made your single crochet V-stitch of a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet into that center stitch. We're going to single crochet one single crochet into the center of this next chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work one single crochet. Now we're getting ready to start our repeat, very simple repeat for this round. So if you need help, just click back on the video and this is where you start. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and then you're going to repeat that around. You're going to skip the first stitch of the three half double crochet group, insert into the next stitch, which is the center stitch or the second stitch, work a single crochet. You're going to chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. So you have your single crochet, chain two, single crochet all into that center stitch. Now you're going to work one single crochet into the center of this next chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work one single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's begin again. You're going to skip the first stitch of the three stitch group. Insert into the next stitch, which is the center stitch. Work a single crochet. Chain two. Insert back into that stitch and work a single crochet. Your single crochet V-stitch is made. You're going to skip the next half double crochet and work a single crochet into the next chain three space. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. Skip the next half double crochet of the three stitch group insert into the center stitch or that next stitch which is the second stitch work a single crochet chain two insert back into that center stitch work a single crochet skip the last stitch of that group and work a single crochet in the center of that next chain three space and that's all there is to working round 10. So go ahead and continue again if you need help just click back on the video you're going to work a single crochet chain two single crochet into that center stitch of that next three stitch group 
and then one single crochet into that next chain three space. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 10. I'm over at the end of round 10. This is what your work should look like so far. So you end with a single crochet into that last chain three space. Let me zoom up a little. And now we're going to end the round by slip stitching into that first single crochet. So insert under the top two loops of the first single crochet and slip stitch. So round 10 is finished. And now we're going to go ahead and begin round 11. To begin round 11, we're going to go ahead and skip this joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into this next chain two space. Insert into the chain two space and slip stitch. So now your hook is in the center of that beginning chain two space to start the round. We're going to go ahead and chain one. We're going to insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. So you just made a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet V-stitch right in the center of that single crochet V-stitch below. So now we're going to work a single crochet between the current V-stitch and the next V-stitch. And I know this is a little hard to see because it's white on a white background. So here is your V-stitch and then you have a single crochet between the V-stitch and then here's your next V-stitch. So it's V-stitch, single crochet, V-stitch. So we're going to come over and work into this next single crochet. Now make sure you're not going into the last single crochet of the V-stitch. You're skipping that entire V-stitch and you're coming over to the single crochet between those two V-stitches. Insert into that single crochet and work a single crochet. So now we're getting ready to start the repeat. So if you need help, you just click back to this portion of the video and this is the repeat for round 11. You're going to insert into the next chain two space of that next V stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to find the single crochet between the current V-stitch and the next V-stitch. Insert your hook into that single crochet and work one single crochet. Insert into the next chain two space of that next V-stitch. Work a single crochet, chain two. Insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to look for your single crochet in between those V stitches and the easiest way to find that stitch is just find the big opening and go directly above and your single crochet is right in the top of that big opening. Insert into that stitch, work one single crochet. So again, I'll show you one more time. Insert into the next chain two space of the next V stitch, work a single crochet chain two, insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to look for your single crochet between the V stitches and again just go right to that big opening, go straight above and your stitch is right in the top of that big opening, insert into that single crochet and work one single crochet. And that's all there is to working round 11. So go ahead and continue, work a single crochet, chain two single crochet into the next chain two space of the next V stitch and then one single crochet into the single crochet above that big opening or in between the current V-stitch and the next V-stitch. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 11. I'm over at the end of round 11. This is what your work should look like. And now we're getting ready to join. When you ended your last repeat, you should have ended with a single crochet into the last single crochet between those V-stitches. 
And now all we have to do is join our round. So we're going to go up and slip stitch right into the top of that beginning single crochet. Now remember to skip the beginning chain one that did not count as a stitch. You're going to insert underneath the top two loops of the first single crochet and slip stitch. So round 11 is finished. So now for round 12, we're just going to do exactly what we did for round 11. We're going to skip that beginning single crochet. We're going to insert our hook into the next chain two space and slip stitch. You're going to chain one, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into the chain two space and work a single crochet. Now you're going to work a single crochet between the current V stitch and the next V stitch so it's right here in the middle. Insert into that single crochet and work a single crochet. So it's the same as you did in the last round. So let's continue. Insert into the next chain two space of the next V stitch work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet into the single crochet between the current V stitch and the next V stitch. Right here it is. Insert into that single crochet, work a single crochet. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. Insert into the next chain two space of the next V stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space and work a single crochet. You're going to insert into the single crochet between the current V stitch and the next V stitch. It's right in the middle. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. And that's all there is to doing round 12. You're just repeating round 11. So go ahead and work a single crochet, chain two single crochet into the next chain two space of that next V stitch and then one single crochet into the single crochet between the current V stitch and the next V stitch. If you need help, just click back on the video and I'll meet you at the end of round 12. I'm over at the end of round 12. This is what your work looks like. We keep getting bigger. So now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom back up and we're going to join with the slip stitch into that beginning single crochet. So when you look at your work again, you're going to skip that chain one that was not a stitch. Insert under the top two loops of that beginning single crochet and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to begin round 13. Round 13, we're going to skip our joining stitch and we're going to insert into the next chain two space and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. Now your hook is directly in the center of that chain two space and now we're ready to start round 13. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet into this chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made a double crochet. We're going to work one more double crochet into the same space, yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, work a double crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. So now we're ready to start our repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to repeat that around your work. So let's begin. You're going to find your next chain two space of the next V stitch. So you're skipping three single crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert into that next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, 
two and three. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple repeat for this round. You're going to skip the next three stitches, yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, skip the next three single crochet stitches, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So when you look at your work, you're going to go ahead and continue. You're going to work three double crochet into your next chain two space of that next V stitch. And then you're going to chain three. Work three double crochet into the next chain two space of the next V stitch and then chain three. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 13. I'm over at the end of round 13. This is what your work should look like now. You have your three double crochet into the chain two space of each V stitch and have a chain three space in between. So now you ended with a chain three, and now we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook and work a slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So now we are done with the white for now, so we are going to fasten off. And again, leave a longer length so you can really secure those ends in. Go ahead and fasten off your work. So now it's time to start round 14. So 14, I'm using my red and I'm bringing this red color back out to the outside border. So go ahead and grab your red or whichever color you wanna use for your outside border. And I'll be back and we'll start round 14. So I have my next color, which is the red. And again, I'm gonna leave about a four or five inch length. You're going to skip the beginning three double crochet and you're going to insert your hook in any chain three space. I just like to start right at the beginning into that first chain three space. Pull your yarn through and you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. So now we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all into the same chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the chain three space, work a double crochet. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work two double crochet. One, Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work your second double crochet. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, one double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet into that first chain three space. Now we're ready to go ahead and start our repeat. So I'm just going to let my beginning thread hang in the back. Just keep that out of the way. We're going to skip the next three double crochet and we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two and two double crochet in each chain three space around. So let's begin, yarn over, skip the next three double crochet, insert into the next chain three space, work two double crochet, one, two, you're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work two double crochet, one, and two. 
and that's all there is to working round 14. So let's work it a couple more times together. You're going to yarn over, skip the next three double crochet, insert into the next chain three space, work two double crochet, one, and two. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work two double crochet, one, and two. And you can see how your pattern is forming. Again, you're working two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in each chain three space around. So let's do it one more time. Yarn over, skip the next three double crochet, insert into the next chain three space, and work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain two, Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work two more double crochet. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip three double crochet and work two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in each chain three space around. And I'll meet you at the end of round 14. I'm over at the end of round 14. When you look at your work, you should have worked two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet in each chain three space around. And let me zoom back up. We're getting ready to join by counting up to the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that chain and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're going to go ahead and fasten off our red. And again, it's nicer to leave a longer length so you have enough yarn to maneuver and really weave that in good in the back of your work. So go ahead and fasten off your red. And then the next color I'm using is I'm going to be using that grass green. And we're going to get started on round 15. So I have my green and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave about a four or five inch length and then I'm just going to go up into the top chain two space. We fastened off here and I'm just going right into this chain two space here. I'm just going to pull my new yarn through my new color and chain three. One, two, and three. And this beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. And all these ends I'll be weaving in when I'm all finished. So uh, please ignore all my ends. So now we're going to go ahead and work two more double crochet into this chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two, work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work your second double crochet. So when you look at your work, you have your beginning chain three and two double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work three double crochet back into the same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a chain three, two double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet all into that first chain two space. So now we're going to jump over to the next chain two space, and now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to work three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet in each chain two space of each shell stitch around. So let's begin, yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work three more double crochet into that same space. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work three double crochet. 
one, two, and three. So again, you're going to have three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet into that chain two space of the shell stitch. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, and now we're going to work three more double crochet into that same space. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And again, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet into the chain two space of each shell stitch around. So let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you're going to have three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in each chain two space of each shell stitch around. So go ahead and continue and I'll meet you at the end of round 15. I'm over at the end of round 15. This is what your work should look like. As you can see, our work is getting bigger. Try to hold it up so you can see how lacy it looks. And now we're going to get ready and join when you look at your work, you should have three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet in the center of each shell stitch around. When you get to the end of the round, we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that chain three and slip stitch. So now I'm just getting ready to fasten off and then we're going to do our final round with white. So go ahead and grab your white and I'll be back and we'll do our last round of round 16 to finish off our table topper. So now we're ready to start round 16. I have my white and I'm going to let about four or five inches hang below and I'm just going to pull my new color through any chain two space, just pull the white through and then you're going to chain one. To begin round 16 we're going to start and work a single crochet into that same chain two space. You're going to chain two, insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. So when you look at your work, you chained one to begin and then you worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that first chain two space. So for round 16, we're only going to be working into the chain two spaces of each shell around. So we're going to work nine triple or treble crochet into this next chain two space, yarn over the hook twice, insert into the next chain two space and work nine triple crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then you can pull those stitches over.
six. Seven. Eight. And nine. So when you look at your work, it just creates a beautiful fan across the edge of your table topper. And you should have a total of nine triple crochet into that chain two space. And now we're just going to repeat working our single crochet V stitch into the next chain two space and then nine triple crochet into the next V stitch. So let's go ahead and work it together again. This is the start of the repeat. You're going to work a single crochet into the next chain two space. You're going to chain two insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work nine triple crochet into the next chain two space. Yarn over twice, insert into the next chain two space and work nine triple crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five. Once I get five made, then I push them over to the right to add the remaining four. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, you can see how it makes that beautiful fan in that chain two space. So that is all there is to doing round 16. So go ahead and continue and you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that next chain two space. And then you're going to work nine triple crochet into the next chain two space. And you're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 16. I'm over at the end of round 16, our final round and edging on our table topper. And you should end with nine triple in that last chain two space. So now I'm just going to go ahead and join my round by going into the first single crochet of the round, insert under the top two loops of that first stitch and slip stitch. I'm just going to fasten off. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you the finished table topper. So our table topper is finished. This is what it looks like. Now it's a little bit harder to see the detail with it laying flat. So I'm going to try to hold it up. You can see that little bit of laciness in there that just adds a little bit of that delicate lacy look. Very pretty if you want to add an extra accent to your kitchen or maybe a living room table or maybe even use it on your nightstands in your bedroom. So very pretty. It's nice. It's cotton. It's machine wash and dryable. So that is the table topper. And then this is our matching dishcloth. And if you really want to go all out, you can take two of the dishcloths, make them up to the last round, just don't work the white round, then insert some insulated batting in between the two layers, and then join them with the last round. So, so many different possibilities. So those are the patterns that we made today. So thank you everybody for stopping by and crocheting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. So until next time, stay creative and happy crocheting.